Digifunnel Lab is a cloud-based app that creates a completely done-for-you sales funnel, complete with custom product and squeeze page with just a couple of clicks of your mouse. With Digifunnel Lab you're getting three software tools all in one and unlike other tools that have high monthly fees or don't work like they claim, Digifunnel Lab works without any special skills needed, plus, it's affordable. Creating a squeeze page takes minutes, and you can also create a stunning product to use as a giveaway to get opt-ins with a few mouse clicks. Choose from ready-to-go products or create your own. But that's just the beginning. With Digifunnel Lab, you can create a complete funnel by adding a back-end offer that makes you money after someone opts into your list. There are three simple steps to making money with Digifunnel Lab. Step number one log in to the cloud-based software and create a squeeze page with a click of your mouse. Step number two tell Digifunnel Lab what kind of product you want to create, choose a creation method, and the rest is done for you. Step number three choose an product to add to your sales funnel, add your payment details, send some traffic, and profit. This is 100% done for you, so you can have your very own profitable sales funnel with a high quality product for sale up and running in a matter of minutes. So in a nutshell, the end user gets a done for you squeeze page to build their list, a done for you product to give away to entice people to opt in, and they also get an additional product they can add to the funnel to start generating sales through the funnel. The best angle to position this software to your subscribers, is to sell it as a done for you list building tool, that will assist in getting your first digital product and sales funnel online with zero hassle. Important points. Newbie friendly one click product creation. Newbie friendly simple lead generation process. Create digital information products in under 60 seconds. Newbie friendly one click sales funnel creation. Create your own product OR select one from the library. 100% done for you solution. Use these funnels to gain instant online authority. No need to pay for sales funnel creation work again. No need to pay copywriters ever again. No need to pay for expensive design work. No need for any more expensive tools or softwares. Your digital products hosted on our server. Your digital funnels hosted on our server. Your affiliate link stuffed inside your finished product. Your affiliate link stuffed inside your finished sales funnels. Your buy buttons and PayPal buttons linked to your funnels. Zero tech skills required. No website required chance to get free viral traffic with your funnels list building on steroids just send traffic make money with your digital product more information is on the sales page in this video of the digi funnel lab training we're going to show you how to put the funnel together really really simple okay so we're going to go through the steps here but then there will be two additional videos where i show you how to connect the autoresponder and how to connect the paypal okay um, but we'll talk about this through this short video um, it's going to be very very easy to understand so what you need to do when you create your funnel is this is on the basis that you've already created your products that you want to add um, but then also you can add products from the database which is pretty cool so what you're going to do is you're going to go down here to my funnels. This is the page and you're going to, at the top, it's going to say add new funnel. And then you're going to have a, uh, a headline. I'm just going to put in a simple test funnel and then I'm going to click add funnel. Once that's done, it's going to go into the list of funnels we've got beneath. So you can see here it is simple test funnel. It's got a zero, which means there are zero products in the funnel at the moment. This is how I can order it up in my other funnels. I can download, I can edit, and I can delete. So let's click on edit. Brings up this page as the name of the funnel that we've created. It has two buttons, and it has a button that clicks back, uh, says back to funnels. And beneath here, these this will show products that are in the funnel. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click add my own product and then this is going to show all of the products that I have created uh, using the product creator so I'm going to choose this one that I created for the demo and you can see we've got six buttons here there are download the licenses download the product delete edit 
But let's just click add product funnel, the cog one. And what happens is as we spoke about in a previous video about when we formed the product, you can see now um, we've got the, the, the landing page that we created, we've got the download page, but this time we've got settings, okay? And you can see here the most important uh, thing here is the autoresponder code, okay? Now I'm not gonna put an autoresponder code in here because I'm gonna do that in a secondary video, but I would recommend that you follow what I do here and just, just put this in here because you will need to put in code here uh, so you can save it, okay? So I'm just going to put autoresponder here. Um, then you've got, this is what's going to be displayed on the thank you page or the download page. So, you know, this is going to say download now or whatever you want to choose there. Okay, so once you're happy with that uh, on the basic version, uh, some upgrade sections there that we'll go through in those videos. Uh, if you've got the upgrades, we're going to click Save Edits. Because if I it, just do just to enforce that, um, see, I can create the page. So now I've created the pages. It's always good to create the pages first before you put the autoresponder code. Because when you create the autoresponder code, you're going to want to put in the pages, okay? We'll explain that in the next video. So if you just put in a code there, allow you to create these pages. And as you can see, now at the top of this page, it has it's formulated the actual pages there, the download page and the thank you, uh, the, the you know, squeeze page and the download page. Um, they are ready. So, you know, once you're happy with that, just click Save All Edits. It's going to say that and now we can click on this blue button back to the funnel back to the funnel and now what we want to do is we want to choose the second product in the funnel the one you know where we're going to be promoting so we're going to click on add database product and we're going to search for something so um, just to make it easy let's just look for lose weight we're going to click return And then we've got a variety of different products there. Let's just go with this one. So we'll click this, add to the funnel. So again, um, you know, this is a sales page. So I can go through that. I can change that if I want. I can go to the settings here. And you can see the different one here is that it's got a buy button. So this is where I need to connect the, the buy button. So I'm just going to put that code there because I'm going to save it to create the pages and then we'll come back um, to link this funnel together we'll, that we'll show you in the, the additional videos, okay? So again, these are the, uh, the, the, uh, the upgrades. But what we do have here is uh, at the bottom is an exit pop, okay? So if someone decides to leave it, uh, you can have a, an exit pop that will appear as they decide to leave the page and it will basically promote something else. So you can go through here and you can select something if there's something that you, that you want here. Um, or alternatively, you can just switch it off. That's what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to click Save All Edits. And that's done. So we're going to click back to Funnel. And you can see that we've got our uh, front end lead magnet, our paid product in the funnel. So we've got these two products. One's a squeeze page, one's a sales page, but they're all created and all the pages are created so we can look at the check of them, but they don't have any linkage. They don't have the autoresponder and they don't have the, um, the PayPal. So that's what we're gonna do in the next video, okay? Because we need to get people to opt in, okay? And then we need to automatically send them across to this one, okay? That's what we need to do, and we'll show you that in the next video.